Bow. What's up, everybody? Once again, it's Brand Man Sean, and I got a very special clip for you guys today. We're talking about a Spotify tip that's so underutilized, and you can only have 50 fans, 100 fans, and get on their big playlist if you follow this. And the information is brought to you by an artist by the name of Ruslan. He's independent, but he's figured out a way to build sustainable systems, doing things like what he's doing on Spotify, some unique merch strategies, and a lot of other things that I'll get into in the full interview. But let's go ahead and hop into this clip. Right now, on Spotify, you're like 73,000 monthly listeners, right? That's a good amount monthly, especially, right? That's a, a lot of artists want that for one song, but, but it says you have that monthly. How have you been building your Spotify fan base? That's a great question. I think understanding the algorithms in terms of what's happening with Spotify. Spotify is doing some amazing stuff. Spotify is essentially, I, I feel like, I don't want to say competing with SoundCloud, but they're impeding on that space that SoundCloud yeah. was in by releasing those vanity matrix. Yeah. And I think, I think it's actually really cool. So understanding the, 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 the actual algorithm followers to plays, how many followers, if you have X amount of followers and they all listen to your song the first day it comes out, that's gonna set off bells in their algorithm. Mm -hmm. And so pushing people to the Spotify, pushing people to follow, uh, pre-saving, dropping releases four weeks, you know, putting a release up four weeks out, telling people to pre-save it, pre-save it, pre-save it, building hype and prep work around the release. Also dropping singles that then go on a project and then those single streams transfer over uh, by using the same, um, I, I, I see our C numbers. I forget what those numbers are, but you can do I a super. Yeah. 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 I did a video about it on, on how to transfer your numbers from like TuneCore to DistroKid. So I think just using the platforms natively, which I know we hear about, you know, from guys like Gary V, all that kind of stuff, but yeah. using the platforms natively, understanding what it is. And if you like, I got an artist friend of mine, I did a whole video about this, but I got an artist friend of mine who's, uh, he's actually my, my artist older brother. And he had like, I don't know, like a hundred followers or something crazy, but his first song dropped and it was at like 70, 80,000 streams, listens. And it was because all those hundred followers went and listened to it, they shared it. And that set off bells in their system. They then Spotify playlisted based on their algorithm. And now his monthly listeners are through the roof. Like I think he's at like 20,000 monthly listeners started with a hundred followers one song out that has like 80,000, 100,000 streams. And it was because those initial 100 followers went crazy when a song dropped. All right, great. So I don't know, if I probably haven't mentioned this in a video, but one thing that you're saying, which is great. And I remember sitting on um, when my first introduction to really how Spotify works actually was like a meeting with people at Spotify and they were in like a few of the playlisters and they were telling me, she was like, they basically, they listen to the, uh, well, they, they watch these lists. They watch numbers. Yes, somebody might have the power to put something on their playlist, but after that, it's all numbers. If it's not working, they're going to take it off. It's going to lose traction, and they, and they just say, ah, no, we don't want this on the list. They want the playlist to perform. But on the other side, like she mentioned, Khalid, right? Um, it, a song on a playlist, the, the song is popping and they see literally metrics. Okay, what's this song? They might not even heard the song. They just see that it's performing and then they add it. Let's try it on this playlist. Oh, it's still outperforming on this playlist. Let's try it on another playlist. So what you're talking about in terms of getting everybody that follows you to go crazy on it in one period of time, that spike will at least get that attention. And I think it's great you mentioned that because I don't think I've mentioned it before. Um, and I know, and I don't see too many people talk about that part with that being said i would love to hear you talk about your specific album release strategies that you typically use because you talk about pre-save and then there's a few other things i'm sure you do what do you typically do leading up to the project so you can get that boost all right i hope that was super helpful for you guys i know that was super helpful for you guys because whether you have 50 100 fans a thousand fans twenty thousand fans this strategy can be used and it's only going to benefit you. Again, I got the full interview coming with Ruslan. It's dropping soon. This guy has his own label. He's actually figured out how to build another artist up under him. He has very sustainable systems 
where he could even use merch strategies and some other unique strategies to fund his marketing without him having to put his money down. You're not going to want to miss that full interview. So when I drop it, I'm going to put the link in the description below. I'll also put it, you know, at the end of this video, whichever way you want to go, but definitely check it out. Other than that, if you like this video, go ahead hit that like button. If you like it, you might as well share it. And if you're not subscribed, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button.